Madame, go tell me if I may help you. Changing the topic of this presentation. This is my world and my rules. <clears throat> yeah, good day, ladies and gents. Okay, okay, yes, I got this. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my nervous. Clara, you got this. This, you know, this is not new. Why are you nervous? This is. Oh. Okay. <sighs> The ladies and gentlemen, distractions. Everything around us are distractions. From industries that are not supposed to be in residential areas, to traffic jams due to bad road network around the cities, and poor power supply. Poor power supply. All these and many more I can't mention generates noise. And this is not good for creative minds. So when complaining about the poor creative works that flog the markets, there are so many factors to be considered before blaming the writer. I'm not trying to pacify them though. My name is Clara Benjamin and I am a creative writer. Nice to meet you all. I'm sorry. Leave the way now. I'm sorry. Well, you have enough space. Go. Are you okay? You're the one that's not all right. Go.
I'm really sorry I'm late and Sit. Okay, I'll just... Okay. I'll just You know, Clara. Yes, sir. Orderliness is important for creativity. You're right, sir. I'm really sorry about this. You should be. I got a manuscript from a writer. Now, I've read it twice. And I feel that something is missing from it. But I don't know what. That is why I've come to you. Okay, um, um, just hand it over to me. I'll go through it and get back to you. Just, okay. Third time you're coming late this week. Means he must be watered. Who exactly? Your fiance. We should be expecting wedding bells soon. Oh, Miss Chini, there is no wedding happening now. Charles and I are still making plans, and I really do have a lot on my plate. I need to get all that sorted out before settling down. But can I'll you just um get me a cup of coffee, please? Okay, ma. Um okay, let's just get my laptop too. Okay, ma. When you can't hide your tears, don't cut the onion. Let the heart cry. So you don't blame the onion. This is the only time. You're talking to yourself. Why won't I? When we live in a world. And sex is a game. People do stuff. Others get blamed. Sister. Shh. 
I'm not done talking. I have learned that I came alone and I will go alone. I have learned that people come to you when they need you and not otherwise. Henceforth, it is me, me, and me. Sister Rita, what's wrong with you? I'm fine. Absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. The government is like a baby. An alimentary canal with a big appetite. At one end, and no sense of responsibility at the other. It's a gentle art of getting votes from the poor and campaign funds from the rich, promising to protect each from the other. What are you so concerned about the next election? The statesman? About the next generation? I ask you, Victor, how many statesmen do we have? Broken hearts, broken souls, shattered dreams, shattered world. When loved and sad, depression sets in. Memories that never die, wounds and scars that never heal. A life becomes so dark and meaningless. Don't ever gamble. Don't ever gamble with a broken heart in the name of love. Because time. you are here. I have something to show you.
son give up. Some try. Some say hi. Others say bye. Others may forget you, but never will I. Expecting life to be fair to you because you are fair to it. It's like expecting the lion not to eat you because you don't eat it. Come on, boy, don't stand. Come and sit. Sit. The world will never see the end of trouble until lovers of wisdom come to hold power. Or holders of power become lovers of wisdom. But what do we have today? The politician thinks about his pocket. Now let me tell you about the political language. The political language is designed to make lies sound like truth and more than respectable. And to give an appearance of solidity to pure wind. George Orwell. Where exactly are you coming from at this time? You will come back to this house very late every day only to ignore me. Why is that, DK? Why? Uche, this is not time for this, please. We can't keep having these fights. Having what fight? Are you for real? No, we are having this fight. In fact, it has started. Do you even think that? I called you on the phone and you didn't pick my calls. You ignored my calls. Okay, you were busy. You were busy with only God knows what. There is more important than coming back to your beloved wife. Okay? No problem. No single problem at all. Let's not have this conversation. Oh, we are having this conversation. This conversation has started and you cannot avoid it. You cannot avoid it. It has started, DK. You need to, you need to start talking. Start talking. Who is she? Who is that woman that will not allow you to sit your ass in your goddamn house? Who is that woman? Okay, you will come back here. Okay, you don't walk out of me. You never walk out of me on that. This is man, you never walk out of me.
Okay. Okay, you're not okay. Ever since I came here, you've not been yourself. What is it? I'm fine. I understand you may not want to talk about this, but don't tell me you're okay. By the way, where's your wife? She just left. We had a fight. Again? She thinks I'm cheating. Cheating? Why would she? I don't know. I seriously don't know, Amichi. Do you really love this woman? Is there a man who does not love his wife? Yes, there is. Well, I am not that man. Can I talk to you as a friend? I think it's high time you started something to spice up your private life. It's boring. Yes. You're too stressed. My private life is with my wife and we are fine. Is there something else you may want us to talk about or you're done? My friend, I guess I've overstayed my welcome. I'll see you. I'm married. Look at you, DK. You're just a shadow of who you were. That woman is frustrating you. Can't you see it? She's still my wife. I'm not agreeing the fact that she's still your wife. Just give me your time. Just one evening. Let me take care of you. Let me show you how a good man like you needs to be treated. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, hello. 
Oh, okay. Send her in. My wife is here and she needs to leave. It's okay. But don't forget. One evening. joking right you are joking i wouldn't be joking when i call the security on you and make sure you don't create anything on your way out all right fine i'll leave but at least i have caught you i have caught you messing around your office i have to go to work oh i'm late for work oh your late night's coming this is the work this is what you do in your office mess around Where's your sister? Alright, I'm done with my analysis. Okay? All I need to do is talk to her. Don't worry. Let me see how to okay you and I know that you are okay so can you please come with me for a few minutes to talk in my office Close friend. What's her name? Okay, just let her in. Hello. Hi. The lady yeah. at the poet office. about the poet's weird behavior. I got interested and went to take a look. 
Mm. Still here. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. A psychiatric doctor and poems. What's the relationship? Well, um, um, you know, uh, it's not everything you say. Yes, the world is full of mysteries. I like you. You like me? Yeah. Thank you. And that's why I followed you here. Thank you, but I am married. All right. Do you mind if we have lunch? Oh, lunch. That would have been a great idea. But I just had lunch. Oh. Poetry is the literary work in which the expression of feelings and ideas are given intensity with the use of distinctive style and reading. Professor, you are the least person I expected to see today. Please sit. Thank you. You will belong to a forum. Continue. You belong to a forum. And the moment you started uh, giving complex speeches and lectures at events and conferences, adorned in strange attires, members of the forum came knocking at my door. And that is why we're here. Miss Loretta, we know there is a psychology behind your outfit. Can you please open up to us? Yes. The truth is that your emotional state is playing a huge role on your outfit. Can you tell us what the problem is? It's strange. Sometimes I understand. But most time, I do not fathom. Can a child climb a mountain without a ladder? If the wings of an eagle is taken away from it by its creator, what is its fate? I walk with four legs, but I see two standing. Why? Your presentation is mind-blowing and complex. Can you please explain the complexities in a layman's language? Can capacity be overlooked? for complexion or status for stature. Deep, very deep. If a friend walks with an unknown enemy into a tunnel. The road is endless. Thank you, my friend. People I trusted with my life, trusted me with their life. You are making sense, my daughter, but I still don't understand you. Betrayer belittles, but the betrayed dot, dot, dot. I was the first female to be inducted into the Eastern Poets Civil Rights Forum at the age of 23. Low. I met gender inequality and hypocrisy in the midst of men with high repute. 
Tell me, Professor. What is the difference between them and the people we oppose? Now I know why you are protesting verbally and visually. But I tell you, my daughter, there's no difference between you, your father, and George Orwell. But at the end of the day, your father and George Orwell realized that all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. The strive for perfection drives people like you to a beautiful ending. Well, you're not coming to the diner. I'm no. very hungry. Baby, baby, hmm? the dining is empty. Why? Hmm? I said the table is empty. I'm hungry. Uh, as you can see, I couldn't wait to take my bath before coming to the dining. Oh. Excuse me. Hmm? There is no food. You're telling me there is no food. I'm hungry. Wait, I just didn't cook now. But if you're hungry, you can go and cook. It's not it. This is a joke, right? If I'm hungry, uh, you mean I will return from the office? Then go to cook for you and I? Listen, DK. Every respectable responsible, mature man cooks. In fact, they even do more. Okay? So just don't stand there and look at me like I've done something very terrible. If you're hungry, you go and cook. The kitchen is yours. Please, I'm catching up with the program. Don't disturb me.
Are you home now? Yes. Okay, when I will see, there is something I want to ask you. About what? Your personal life. I'm not sure you want to know about it. Loretta, I am your doctor. And I am your patient, Dickie. But... Oh, please. Tomorrow evening, I will send you a venue. If you're free, will you come? All right, bye. I'll be expecting you.
I will call you back. I know I know you've been calling since morning. I will call you back. Yeah, if you've called someone over three times and they, and they don't pick, you should know they are busy. I'm busy, I'll call you back. Broken hearts, broken souls, shattered dreams, shattered world. When love and sad, depression sets in. Memories that never die, wounds and scars that never heal. A life becomes so dark and meaningless. Don't ever gamble. Don't ever gamble with a broken heart. Bomba crack! What the what the one man? I'm so sorry. Why are you not looking on the way you're going? I'm sorry. Thank you girl. I'm sorry.
Ma, mm -hmm. you've not eaten since morning. Ma, mm -hmm. what is that all? Just go, 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 go. I'm fine. Go. I'm sorry. I have been very busy. That's why I haven't called. Mom, I'm fine. I am an adult. I can take care of myself. I am happy. Yes, I am very happy. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine. Bye. Love you too. Broken hearts, broken souls, shattered dreams, shattered world. When love turns sad, depression sets in. Memories that never die. What are you doing here? You are obviously okay. I'm not alright. I have a little pain here. And a little scratch. Very tiny scratch here. You need to look very deep. To see. And the tiniest crush inside here. Please come and check it, okay? 
Um, um, that's okay. I've, I've seen it all. Um, what happens is, you may hear, okay? When you're done, shut it off my office. I need your doctor. I need your torch. Please. I need your torch. My friend, you're looking so excited. What is it about the poet that is so interesting? Her intelligence and idea of protest. Wow. But I still do not understand. Okay. Instead of inciting her students around the country to take to the streets, she resulted to attending functions and conferences dressed in strange attire, delivering powerful speeches and motivational quotes that have propelled so many educated minds to start lending their voices against the government in mature ways. Interesting. We had our first chat in my office simply because some naivets around her thought she was mad and didn't believe her. The nest was in her study room and each time was awesome. You're beginning to like this girl. Yes, I do, but not in the direction you're going. My friend, I have to be very sincere with you. I've always known you to be a lover of women with deep-rooted wisdom and sound knowledge. You're correct. The reason you found yourself on Uchi's bosom is to have for me. It's complicated. And don't you think it's high time you started looking into the complications? Where were we? About the poet. You. Three years into this marriage, your insecurity is already causing me my sanity. Look, I'm done with you. You can go ahead to take the house and everything. I don't care. I'm done with this contraption. What is, what's wrong with this one? What is going on with this man? Coward! Yes, you're a coward. That's what you are. What, what, what is this? I don't blame you. I blame myself. In fact, I'm actually ashamed of myself that I ended up with a boy like you for your husband. What else are you doing? What's, what's stressing you now? What is stressing you? Tell me what is going on with you. You will not say anything. You will not have a conversation. You will not nothing. You know what is eating you up. I am not the problem. I am not the problem. I am very sure you know what is eating you up. It's not me. I don't know what is eating you up. You are carrying your wound. Where are you going to? Where the hell are you going to, TK? Where do you think you're going to? Uh, uh, where do you think you're going? At least you should let me know. I'm your wife. I'm supposed to know where you're going to. Where are you going? I am going to anywhere, just anywhere, that I can find peace away from you. That is where I am going. What kind of man are you, for God's sake? What kind of man runs away from his marriage without even having a conversation with his wife first? Broken hearts, broken hearts. Themselves, shattered dreams, shattered you when loved and self It beats me that you don't have shame. Is this what you call marriage? No respect, no regard, no honor. You know what? Go. Go, TK. Go, you will still come back. I have introduced you to a luxury life. You cannot stay away from me. Just go. You will come back begging. And when you come back, you will come back calling me. I said you, you will cry. You will cry. Okay, I said you will cry. With a broken heart. In the name of love. <laughs>
Hi. Right. How did you get in here? I'm not fine. This is not working, Jesse. Relax. Not all women are toxic. Just that you haven't seen a woman to kill. You don't give up, do you? You're talking too much. You missed peace last night. You would have witnessed the bodies in situ. A woman consumes on a man she loves. I am married. <laughs> Look, um, thank you for trying. Thank you so much. But even if I have to cheat on my wife, definitely it's not going to be with you. If you don't just understand, you stay away from me. Leave. Broken hearts, broken souls, shattered dreams, shattered world. When love turns out, the passion sets in. Memories that never die, wounds and scars that never heal. A life becomes so dark and meaningless Don't ever gamble Don't ever gamble Doctor My name is DK So call me DK, we are friends now You are still my doctor and I'm your patient Um, you are a nice person and um I'm here to see one. Can we reschedule for another time? It's your numerous girlfriends that are your distractions from home. So don't sit there and talk to me about distractions. Maybe today is the day that the Lord has made that I am going to use a security on you. Leave my office. Leave your office. Leave your office. Is that all you got? No, that's all you got. But guess what? It's becoming stale. That is stale! You keep asking me to leave your office and I'll keep coming back! Call the security. No, call them. Go ahead and call them! No, no, no. Go ahead and call the security. I'll keep coming until you come back home. You're stubborn! Yes, I'm stubborn! That's the woman you married! Come in. Yes. Doctor, Dr. Kuni needs your attention. It's urgent.
<laughs> As a medical doctor is to the hospital, so is a poet to the study room. May I? Yes. Pardon my manners. Thank you. It was also the last time I was here. I know your friends must be proud of you. I don't have friends. That's why I'm here. I noticed you don't socialize. Please, can you sit? Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Matthew 10, 16. Can you explain that to me? Well, I am my psychiatrist. I am not a preacher of the gospel. You seem like you're not from this part of the world. Um, Loretta, you are no longer a stranger to me. Is that all? Um, Loretta, building a wall of defense around you due to your experiences will never hide your genuity. My dear, you are as gentle as a lamb that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob sent to save our souls. Like you are a I believe in God. I believe in Christ. But I detest church dogmas. Does that mean you don't go to church? They shall see God. Matthew 5, verse 7. So you see, whether you are a Muslim, Christian, Hindu, as long as you are pure in heart, you shall see God. You share a lot with my father. Memories Thank you. that never die. Wounds and scars that never heal. A life becomes so dark and meaningless. Don't ever gamble. Don't ever gamble. With a broken in the name of love Because time never heals Never heals the one with a broken heart Don't ever mess with a broken heart Because time never heals 
You better talk about yourself. Because there is nothing to talk about. Please sit. Thank you. Nice place. Thank you. Honestly, you are fun to be with. I'll take that as a compliment. So, what do I offer you? Don't bother yourself, I'm fine. So tell me, what do you do when you're not writing? Are you seeing me as a sociopath? I'm so sorry if it came up from me. No, it's fine. I'll show you. Scaring me. This is what I do when I am not writing. I don't get. Don't you think life is about darkness? The darker it gets. The more you yearn for the light. your love life. Trust me, you don't want to know. But we are friends. Being friends doesn't mean I should tell you. We were together for five years. We were so in love. He was everything I wanted. So I gave him all of me. For five years, I was abused emotionally and physically. I stayed with him because the more he hurt me, the more I loved him. Being in love with him was like falling in love with a time bomb. You knew it was going to explode. But you don't want to leave because you like how it beats and ticks. And you finally left? No, it was the other way around. He left? Like all men do. Not all men leave. Forgive me for saying all men. But at some point in time, most men have left a woman. Haven't you, Doctor? Um, well, sometimes in life we we all do make mistakes. You just have to admit it. You never told me all this. You don't have to tell your therapist everything. You must. That's if you want to heal. Who even wants to heal? There must be a place for revenge. You see, this is what I do when I am not writing. I stay in darkness. Hoping a ray of light comes through. And you're right, and that's all. Creativity comes from energy, darkness, and light. Whichever one. I am tired. 
so my bad. I, I have to go. Shattered dreams, shattered world. When loved and sad, the pressure sets in. I have succeeded in finding out what her problem is. She has trust issues. Yes, that's the problem. But I've dealt with it. Wow. Just like that. I don't understand. You just summarized the whole thing just like that. You talk to me, you're my guy. How did you succeed? Well, um, her parents were assassinated by those who were close to them. And until date, as we speak, she's still in court with a few of her father's friends over her father's properties. Shortly after her parents' death, her relationship of five years crashed. With few other societal issues, she went berserk. Wow. Well, thank God you're capable of uh, taking care of it. But I just have one question for you. Where does all this leave put of you personally? Oh, come on, I'm a bitch. I'm a professional. Mm. Mm. Professional. What's that? Brother, from waist down, we all are humans, you know. Yes, point. I know you. Do. Over. Oh, all right, all right. I will drop by by its period. Okay. I'll be expecting you.
so much for a vicious man who wouldn't cheat on his wife. Tracy, what is all this about? Dickie, I sold my body to you. I sold my body to you cheaply so you wouldn't cheat on your wife. But lately, you're cheating on her with a psycho, a mentally unstable person. Jesus! DK, how do you cope with the heat of the cross fire? You're lying to me, your wife and the other woman. Three women! And you think they don't have feelings? Answer me! You don't have the right to talk about my family. Yes, because I am not the one who came flirting with you. Ooh. I am not the one who sold you cheaply just like you said. Uh. I never felt a dog pop for you. So, why are you here tormenting me for crying out loud? <sighs> really? <sighs> it's fine. I'm fine. I'll take my leave. I can't believe you turned out this way. Change, Uche. What gets me worried is you talking about how much I've changed. And not how your change induced my change. You see, everything that happened between us is the end product of your insecurities. It was bound to happen. Oh, please just shut up. Shut up and stop making excuses for cheating. You are a cheat and I know it. But, however, I just want you to come home. Come home, DK. You can't be sleeping here. In as much as I know that it will be very difficult for you to believe me. Because you've already believed whatever impression you have in your head. I am not cheating on you. Liar. That's what you are. Even after I caught you cheating, I caught you right on there. You still have the guts to look me in the face and lie to me. Why would I be lying to you? Oh, please. Even at this point, that everything I've felt for you is gradually fading away. Look, I regret ever loving you. I gave you the throne of my heart to rule as Queen Supreme. But what did you do know? You were worried about shadows. That is the way you came. Leave. If you don't come back home, I'll call my father. Go. Broken heart, broken dreams, shattered world. When loved and sad, the pressure sets in. Memories that never die. Wound and scars that never heal and life becomes so dark and meaningless don't ever gamble don't ever gamble with a broken heart in the name of love
me the pie. Hand this over to your madam. She's expecting it. Do not open it. Seen her before? No, no. Not even around the neighborhood. No. Is anything the problem? Yeah. Uh, I feel collect. so tired last night, so how come you're up so early? What happened last night meant nothing to me. <laughs> come on, tell me you're joking. I am not. My emotions took a toll on me. And we expressed what we couldn't say to each other, right? Is that what you think of it? Tell me otherwise. I think you took advantage of me. <laughs> no, you're lying. I didn't. That's how I feel right now. Hmm? Come on, Loretta. We made love two times. Was it sweet then? That happened because I was in my most vulnerable moment. You should have done better. Lock the door behind you. You are not okay. Don't say that to me! <sighs> Love it, I meant it. Oh, thank you, I'm losing it. DK. Don't you dare. Remind me of... I can't believe you were saying this to me. Rita. And scars that never heal, a life becomes so dark and meaningless. Don't ever gamble, don't ever gamble with a broken heart in oh. the name of love. <laughs> Came home. So you finally came back? Eh? You finally came back? For what exactly? For what? Look, Uche. I'm not here for all this. I only came to get my remaining things and leave you for good. Mm. Yes. Okay, wait, just wait. This explains it, right? This <laughs> everything that's been going on. This explains it all. For 
for your information. She is my patient. Can I go now? DK. Look, I'm sorry. And I've always loved you. I've done everything I can to be a perfect wife for you. What more do you want? Oh. I love you for everything you gave to me. Thank you so much for all of it. But you never gave me a home. behind us. I don't care who she is, I, she's your patient, whatever, I don't care. Please, can we just put everything behind us and start afresh? Please, let's give us a second chance. I promise you, I'll change. I'll stop everything. I'll stop nagging. I'll stop all of it. I'll change. I promise you, Dike, please. Are you joking or what? I'm that serious. I'm serious. Please give us another chance. Please, Nikki. I'm Hello, Doctor. We need to talk. When can I see you? I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of something. I'm sorry for everything I said to you the last time. Words don't hurt, they teach. I was scared you were going to leave. So I felt pushing you away was a better option. I'm sorry I took advantage of you. What happened between us shouldn't have happened. Everything I said to you are all in the past now, aren't they? I have to go now. Broken hearts, broken souls, shattered dreams, shattered world. When love turns sad, the pressure sets in. Memories that never die, wounds and scars that never heal. A life becomes so dark. I am married. I have a woman I love. What happened between us was never meant to be. I thought you loved me. Maybe I, I, I did. And, and the way I see things right now, we just have to let go of whatever we felt for each other. She didn't tell a woman you love to let go. At some point, I wanted, I never wanted to leave you. I wanted to let go of every commitment and vows to be with you. What has changed now? I'm married. I have a woman I love and a marriage to protect. It's not what happens to me. I become another victim. What were you thinking when you told me all those things? I was protecting myself. You weren't protecting yourself from nothing. Maybe all men have to leave at some point when they are not with the right person or they can't be a woman's stress. I'm sorry.
Forgive me, Father. For I'm about to sin. I am going to kill a man who hurts me. Not all women can be victims of a lying man. He needs to learn. Broken souls, shattered dreams, shattered world. When loved and sad, depression sets in. Memories that never die, wounds and scars that never heal. A life becomes so dark and meaningless. This story is very interesting but also very much depressing. I do not understand. Please, Patrice. You know, presently, people want a story with a perfect and happy ending. That is why there shouldn't be a reconciliation between Uche and Diki. Please, Diki, I am so, so sorry. I don't care who she is. I, don't, I just put everything behind us, please. Uche, this isn't the first time you're doing this. I'm sorry. Just give us a second chance. I promise I'll change. I'll stop everything. I will change for good. I promise you, Diki. You would always beg and I'll forgive you. I'm sorry. I'm done for good. I'm sorry. Tika, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tika. Don't ever gamble. Don't ever gamble with a broken heart in the name of love. Because time I just walked out of my marriage. It was a nightmare. I should have told you. For all I've seen and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 We are all guilty of many things. No creature is perfect. The past is in the past. Loretta. Loretta is just like me. I am very happy, but people don't seem to understand it. I guess it's because of the way I live my life. 
if not for my parents' insistence. I am very comfortable with my 1980 Mercedes 200 that I got with my own money. So, Loretta should be happy, loved. She deserves to be appreciated. Now that's the missing link. <laughs> Thank you very much. Broken hearts, broken souls, shattered dreams, shattered world. When loved and sad, depression sets in. Memories that never die, wounds and scars that never heal. A life becomes so dark and meaningless. Don't ever gamble. Don't ever gamble with a broken heart. So oh. 